Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape Project, Pac-Man. Alright, today we'll be making this image of um, Pac-Man. First thing we're going to do, to do is open a new document by going to File, New. Inkscape will launch and this will sort of be your default layout. So we're going to change the artboard to be horizontal by going to document properties or shift control D now if we're going to go ahead and set this at 8.5 by 11 and make it landscape so now we see that the width is 11 and the height 8.5 make sure that the units are in inches before continuing we could set the background to a black color but I prefer to make it with a shape so let's go ahead and make the background shape we'll pick a rectangle and we'll come over here and draw one it doesn't have to be the exact size because we're going to change that in a second let's go ahead and make the fill black by clicking on the black swatch here and then let's find a blue stroke we'll find a blue we like, we'll press the shift key and hold it and then select the blue now let's double click the fill and stroke or shift control F and it'll bring up the swatches or the um, fill and stroke palette we're going to check that this is in millimeters and it's set to three and that's what I wanted you can of course adjust it here any way you want we'll double check that this is not selectable we want sharp corners then I know that my document size is 11 inches wide so we'll go ahead and change this to inches we'll highlight that type in 11 press tab type in 8.5 press enter as you see here we know for sure that this um, rectangle is 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches high but we want to center it on our artboard our page so we go to object and we'll go to align and distribute or shift control a we'll make sure that the align relative to page is selected and then all we'll have to do is hit center vertical center horizontal now this is right on top of our page it's the same size so this is what we're going to work on go ahead and press 5 5 will bring your page full screen and now we're going to draw the Pac-Man. We'll select the circle and ellipse tool and bring it over here. Now it's very important to hold the control key. Hold the control key, left click the mouse and start dragging it out. Notice if I drag straight down it still makes an oval. If I drag straight out it still makes an oval. You want to draw, drag at sort of a 45 degree angle. So let's drag it about there. Release. We're going to get rid of the stroke by holding shift key coming into this, the X over here on the swatches and clicking it and then we're going to select this yellow now we have a yellow circle selection so now we can move it around let's make it we're going to make it a little bit bigger so I've selected it I'm going to hold the control key and click on that corner arrow and drag it up a little bit that's about as big as I want to go. We'll go back to the circle. Now, on the circle, you have this little node here that is uh, a round. So we're going to get right on top of it until it turns red. I'm going to left click and hold, and I'm going to drag the mouse to the right, to the outside of the circle. Make sure that you're dragging it to the outside and not the inside because it'll do that. So let's drag it to the outside and start going up that's about right we'll get this other node we'll left click hold drag to the outside of the circle about right there we'll go to page and we'll center horizontally we'll take the circle tool again we're going to hold the control key and drag it out about that big now we notice that it's a pac-man again so my settings are for to, 
to use last made that's the way I like to do it I like my any circle or any tool I work with to use the last style that I used because a lot of times when I'm doing a project I might mess up and I need to keep using that same style and I can always go and change settings the way we're going to fix this circle is we're going to hit make the shape whole ellipse then we're going to select an off white gray probably right here selection tool we'll come up to the corner we'll go ahead and hold the control key and drag it down the control key is going to make it so it isn't um, become an oval it'll keep it it'll keep its proportions move it right about here we're going to hit control D it's going to make a duplicate copy you don't see it yet because it's sitting on top of the original one so we're just going to left click here hold and drag it out if you hold the control key when you do this it will keep it in line notice it's sort of like on skates we'll pull this here control D we'll make another one and control D hold the control key drag it out alright so let's go back to this first one let's hold the control key let's slide it over right about there alright so they're looking bunched up and the way we're gonna fix that is I'm gonna hold the shift key I'm gonna keep this one selected then I'm gonna click the other three notice that the bounding boxes appear around each one of them they're all selected now all I have to do is distribute equal distant horizontally now let's spread them out some and there you have it that's our finished product it's super simple that was just showing you all a little example of how the circle tool square tool and some of the um, functionality of Inkscape works thanks for watching